guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i'm gonna show you that how you can control the brightness of an led using push buttons using a pic 16 f 877 a microcontroller so let's get started so guys this is the pic 16 f 877 a microcontroller tip version having 40 pins this is a push button you can use any type of push button found in the market i'm using this type this is a two pin push button this is a second push button one will be used to increase the brightness and other one will be used to decrease the brightness this is the led whose brightness will be controlled by these buttons and guys before we can connect these buttons with a pick we will need 10 kilo ohm resistor these resistance resistance can be connected either in pull up or pull down formation i have a video tutorial on this i will also share that in the description share the link of that tutorial in the description so let me show you how to connect the push buttons with a pick first of all you connect both the uh, 10 kilo ohm resistors one pin with each other then you send it to the vcc pin of the pick 16 fa 7 a in this way these buttons or these resistors get 5 volt from the pick now the other pin of the resistor will go to the one pin of the button like this and then that that pin or that from the same point that side of the resistor you send it to any available digital input output pin which you want to program for using the button now guys for the other resistor do the same like this connect one pin of the push button with the other end of the resistor then you send it to any available digital input output pin i am using d2 i will use pin number d2 to lower down the brightness of the led and d3 to uh, increase the brightness of the led so left button will be used to increase the brightness and right will be used to decrease the brightness now guys the other pin of both the buttons second pin of both the button is empty you have to send it to the common ground now you connect them together like this and then you send them to the common ground in this way our buttons are connected with the pic 16 f a double seven a microcontroller now let's get to the led it is not good to connect led directly to the pic you use a 220 ohm resistor this will low limit the current so let me show you how to connect this you connect the longer pin of the led with one end of the 220 ohm resistor like this then the other end of the resistor will go either to pin number c1 or c2 pin number c1 and c2 are only two pwm pins available in the pic 16 fa 7 a so you can only use these two pins to control the brightness of an led either c1 or c2 i'm going to use a c2 c2 is ccp1 which means pwm one pin now guys the other pin of the led that is the shorter pin will go to the ground in this way our connections and wiring are complete for this mini project so let me show you how i am going to program it and what will be the output now you can see that we have two buttons one connected to d2 and one connected to pin number d3 and an led connected to pwm1 pin now when this button is pressed you can see the brightness increases one button is pressed and the brightness increases like this as for as long as you had pressed the button the brightness will keep on increasing i will program it in such a way wherever you leave it the brightness will remain the same it will not go back roll back it will remain the same if you remove the pressing the button now when you press the other button brightness will decrease like this wherever the point you leave this button the brightness will remain the same see when you press this button or you keep on pressing this button the brightness will decrease now guys let's get back to our programming and also let me introduce you to the hardware to show you how i'm gonna implement this so let's get started this is the hardware i'm using here you can see that it is exactly the same there are two push buttons and then we have this led this is the led i'm gonna use here you can see the led it's a red led you can use the any color led as you like you can see this is the led here these are the two push buttons these are 10 kilo ohm resistor and it's a 220 ohm resistor to limit the current for the led and they are going to the pic 16 fa 7 a microcontroller and wiring is as shown in the presentation so guys let me start programming this for you and let's do it quick so guys this is our micro c4 pic software it's version 7.2.0 let me zoom it in okay it's now zoomed in you can see that go to the left side 
I'm using 7.2.0 version. You can use any version as you like, but remember there is some difference in coding. But prefer use the latest version. This is the latest version. So guys, you click on new, go to the new project. Then this window pops up. Click on next, write the name of the project. I write LMPWM1 and pic 16 fa 7 a is the one I am using. The crystal is 20 megahertz. Write down the crystal whichever you are using. Depends like 12, 11.0592 or 16 megahertz. Depends upon your choice. Click on next. Finish. Okay. Now this is our programming window. First of all, as you know, we are using a PWM pin. We need to initialize the PWM module of the pic. For that purpose, go to right. You have micro e libraries. Go to the bottom. Oh, sorry. In the center, you will have PWM. There it is. Check this box. Click plus. Go to this PWM1. Initialize. Pin number 17 is the PWM1 pin. In the example here, you have this command. PWM1 initialize at 5 kilohertz. You simply copy it. Go back and place it right under the void main. Like this. Give some initialization delay. 100 will be fine. Now guys, our PWM is initialized. We are also using two pins to connect the button. Let's initialize them as well. So trace D dot F2, D dot F2 equals to one. That is pin number 21. If it was an output pin, then we were to use zero. Since it's a button pin, we always use one with a trace register. Give it some initial state. Our resistor we connected is in the pull up form. So whenever the button is pressed, it will send us zero. So initial state must be one because button will send zero. So it will become zero. If you connect a resistor in the pull down format, then you can, you have to go opposite way. You have to give a zero here because button will send one. But in the formation I had connected it, it will send a zero. So initial state must be one. Give some initialization delay like this. For I am going to use D dot F2 for to lower down the brightness and now initialize the other pin as well, other button pin. Do the same, simply copy paste it, make it 3, D dot F3, rest is same. Okay, now our buttons are initialized, our PWM module, that is PWM pin number 17 is initialized. If you make it 2, then that is a PWM pin number 2. Save it, save your project that will be the pin number 16 since we are using pwm1 pin that is ccp1 in the data sheet that is the pin number 17 pin 17 that is the pin number c2 okay now let's get to our forever loop now in the forever loop we start here and and here now what we want to do in the forever loop is that we need to program these two buttons that whenever d2 is pressed brightness decreases and f3 is pressed brightness increases for that purpose, go back to the right in the library. There you have this PWM1 start. You click on it. There in the example, you have this command. Just copy it. Go back. Paste it like this. Give some initialization delay. 20 will do fine. Like this. Now guys, our PWM1 has started. Now next thing we need to do is that you go back and set duty cycle for the PWM1 here. PWM1 set there uh, is that is a duty cycle. PWM1 set duty, duty cycle. You place it here like this. Now guys, this is the duty cycle value. Whatever the value from 0 to 255 you enter here, 0 to 255 you enter here is the voltage applied given to the pin. 0 is equal to 0 volt while 255 is equals to 5 volt like this it means in between we have 0 0 0.1 2 3 4 5 6 depending upon the resolution so i make it a variable because we need to vary this for that purpose we initialize an integer variable count equals to 0 by default it's 0 it is a good practice also make it to 0 in the one time loop for safety so whenever the program starts count is always 0 now what I do is that I make a loop here. Here we write count. Now it's a variable. If port D dot F3 double equals to 0. That the button at pin D3 is pressed. 
we get a zero then what happens what happens is that initially whatever the value of count is from here it's zero whatever the value of count is it will increment the count count equals to count plus five now whatever the speed of brightness increase decrease you want you simply change this value if you want it to brightness to change rapidly then you make it 50 60 if you want to make it more slower just go one if you want to make it more slower just go 0 0.1 or something like that okay that will do fine now give some initialization delay i give it 50 this is not initialization delay this is a delay to lower down the speed of changing if you increase this speed this as well it will also do the same whatever this will do this is the step while this will define the smoothness while this will define the speed now guys this is our scenario that whenever button at pin f3 is pressed it will increase the brightness now we go for the other button write down else if simply copy this else if a button at d2 is pressed then what happened is that simply make it minus the value goes down like this that will be the difference here so guys this is it this is the code we just wrote here let me again explain this to you we initialized our two pins d f2 and f3 because buttons are connected on this pin we made them one because there is a button and then we initialize the pin number 17 that is a pwm pin on which our led is connected then what we di did is that we started the pwm one because pin number 17 is pwm one then what we did is that we made a condition that whenever the button at f3 is pressed brightness should increase count pwm duty cycle increases by five and whenever f button at f2 is pressed it decreases in this way brightness will change now click on build see for errors see there is an error here in the newer versions of micro c4 pick like this one you need to take care of the capital and small letters you cannot write delay ms with a small d you have to write it with a capital d else it will give an error again same mistake you again make it capital again check for errors now see it successfully initialized we can burn it in our microcontroller for that purpose you go to this micro c4 pick programming software you can download it from the micro c website that's free free software easily available now go to file import the hex file you just created this is the one we created i built it another time to make sure that it's built before we burn go back click on write okay our new program is being written you can see that our new program is being written let's see what happens okay the program is written now we give 5 volt to the circuit using this picket 3.5 burner now i press the button see led starts to glow now i just leave it see it has been in the same state in which it was you can see that it is in the same state in which it was where see when i keep on press the button it reaches from 0 to 255 duty cycle and once it reaches the maximum 255 then it starts over again that is how this function works pwm function works now i press the other button now it goes the opposite way it lowers down instead of increasing see the value simply lowers down you can see that it goes from high to low see the good thing is wherever i leave the button see i leave it here it will remain same if i want to lower it down i press this one it lowers i press the other one it goes high see f2 the button at the pin f2 lowers it down while the button at the f3 increases the brightness see it is lowering down and it is increasing the brightness so guys i hope you learned something from this video it's a very easy to make project this application of pwm has huge applications like for controlling the speed of motors for controlling many servo devices or stepper motors etc you need this technique especially for servo motors 
सो गाइज दिस इज इट थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर टाइम एंड हैव अ नाइस डे